Coconut dance. Robam Kustra Layok. Folk dance, created in the 20th century is folk dances that emphasize that various cultural traditions and ethnic groups of Cambodia and are usually more fast-paced than classical dances. The movements and gestures are not as stylized as classical dance. Folk dancers wear clothes of the people they are portraying such as camps, hill tribes, farmers, and peasants. Some folk dances are about love or folk tales. Most of the music of folk dances is played by a Mahorai orchestra. Here are some types of folk dances listed, they are. Trot dance, dance of the stag. Snintoso and dance, dance of the wild oxen, dash. Robam Komari Ik. Robam Nerichi Ashur, a young women's dance. Robam Geok Pilan, Pilan Peacock dance. Shriyam. Cambodian fishing dance, and Cambodian coconut dance, Robam Kustroleok. Robam Kustroleok, coconut shell dance, has been a legacy of Khmer people for a long time. This traditional folk dance was originated around 1960 from Romia's Hek district, Savire Eng province. This dance is performed during the wedding ceremony, groom procession, and other festivals for cheering the atmosphere. The dance performance involving coconuts with male and female dancers. Men wear a yellow shirt and dark red shank ibin. Women wear a button-up shirt and green silk shank ibin. However, this dance has been used by the Cambodian people in the Romia's Hek district of Svire Eng province to participate in the wedding ceremony, especially for groom procession in order to create a pleasant atmosphere and prompted the ceremony more pomp. And, female and male dancers hold each pair of beautifully polished coconut shells and often called troleok in each mole. Then, they were dancing to traditional rhythms, flan car, with dynamic movement and cross open like a grasshopper with humor and naughty performance. On the other hand, according to Khmer preference, coconut shell dance in the wedding is the creation of a happy and glory because this troleok niche mole for Cambodian people believe is a symbol of natural properties, especially its agricultural production of the nation. Moreover, troleok niche mole represents water and soil, which is a favorable condition for agriculture, and also the bond between adults, which is the prerequisite condition for morality in rural life. This traditional folk dance is usually performed on fun occasions like Khmer New Year, anniversary, and weddings due to its pleasant and cheerful music with naughty but gentle performance. There are normally five pairs, can be three or seven pairs, of men and women dressing traditional villager clothes with a pair of beautifully polished coconut shells for each dancer. Men and women wear different customs and their colors may vary depending on favors. According to Khmer culture and civilization documents were written by Professor Punch I mentioned that during 1965, the team of the National Conservatory of the Spectacular and Royal University of Fine Arts to conduct field research and invited a teacher who still remembered and had knowledge about this dance. His name is Wat who is a teacher at a primary school in the Svire Eng province. He has traits like humor, words, and gestures, as well as use voice, mimic the sound of music in a comedy way. In addition, he has taught at the National Conservatory of Spectacular in Phnom Penh. The mentioned source said that after the trainees began to install the dance which has the format as the one we have seen today. This dance has been installed and officially started to perform for national and international visitors from 1966 until now. The same source added that Robam Kustroleok is different from many other traditional folk dances where they often bridge the ethnicity to the spiritual belief.